You can add styles to virtually anything in Painter, a photo, a sketch, a selection, a painting, or even a few simple brush marks. The unique feel and look of AI styles can serve either as an underpainting for your photo art or inspiration for your next masterpiece. What are presets? In addition to default styles, Corel Painter provides a selection of presets which have been carefully curated to offer optimal results for specific image types. In AI styles, there are some things to remember. You can apply the changes to the current document or to a clone document. You can also create your own presets by modifying the setting of any default style or preset. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn about taking a photograph and converting it into an underpainting and then using it to build our painting on. And you can see that uh, on the left hand side, I have this beautiful red tree uh, forested image that I just loved. And on the right is the finished painting. And what I really loved about this was it gave me the ability to get a real strong underpainting with just the basic shapes that I wanted to work with and then develop it on into the finished painting. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you the steps I took to finish this red leaf forest painting. So let's get started by opening our source image. Remember to size and color correct the image if necessary. If you plan on printing, you're going to want to make sure you have the higher resolution uh, when you start this. So go ahead and size and, and color correct. And we're going to begin by opening the AI styles. And how you'll do that is I'll go ahead and close this so we can go through the steps. We'll go to the window menu, go down to photo art panels, and choose AI style. Once we do that, if this is the first time you have opened a panel, you will notice that it includes the complete photo art suite. We're going to work with the AI style panel, and I'm going to start by selecting the preset called Short Strokes. And I'm going to go ahead and select it, and we're going to go ahead and let it render out its effect. And the goal here is to remove the photo pixels and render an underpainting with a minimal detail, but still holding with those strong shapes. So we're going to work with um, the AI style underneath the preset, and we're going to choose the smooth acrylic. And once we've done that, we're going to start to adjust the image to the point where we still have good strong shapes and color and get it to the point where it will create a very good underpainting for us to start uh, our painting from. The AI style basically simulates the texture, the color, and the pattern, and the aesthetics of the reference image. And finding the right styles for you will depend on your vision for your painting. The preset will further optimize the image. You can choose from colored pencils to short strokes. To create a strong underpainting, I will select from the drop down the preset called short strokes. So from the preset, we have short strokes. And from the AI style, we've chosen smooth acrylic. And once you've applied, you will notice that the image is simplified in terms of detail. The edges are defined and the shapes are soft but very evident. Now I can continue to refine the source using the options below. These options include the strength option, which adjusts the strength of the tra transfer. So if I want to bring this down a little bit, and not have it quite as strong, I can continue to work with it till I find something I like. 
and the next option would be to select the detail of the image. So if I'm looking for very high detail, which I probably would in an underpainting because I want to maintain the strong shape and not blow the image out too much in terms of edges. But you can definitely uh, experiment with the low, medium, and high detail levels to find something that works well for you. Color match means that we're going to specify the degree of color that is styled into the image. So at 100%, I'm going to pick up more of the natural color of the photograph. If I bring it down, you'll notice that it becomes a little more subdued. So it, depending on what you're looking for, you'll find something that's going to work for you there. And then smoothing the image means that we're just going to watch those edges, making sure that we give the image a more painterly appearance. So as we bring the smooth image up to 100%, you can see that we start to get these really nice shapes forming. And this really, to me, uh, starts to create a nice underpainting where we've really eliminated a lot of those photo pixels, but we have some good strong shapes to begin with. Once I have the underpainting established, I can save the preset and use it over and over again. So let's talk about how to do that. One of the ways that I can save this preset is to go ahead and select the Add option here and give it a name. And I'll call this one My Under Painting and save. So now when I choose to apply this, it will appear in my underpainting in the preset drop down. Now I'm going to go ahead and close this image and reopen it again. And now I want to show you something. I'm going to go to my underpainting and choose it and it's going to apply that everything that I saved to the image including the color match, the smoothing of the image, the strength, and the AI style. So I can apply this to any photograph that I open up that I want to work with and use. Now the other option you have here is to apply this to your current document or to a new clone document. And this is really exciting too because it opens up some possibilities for you to work with AI styles within your uh, cloning panel. So let's go ahead and choose that new clone document and apply it. And you'll notice now that it sets up automatically for us via the photo art panel a clone of the AI style that we saved and we can go on to use that as a clone document to paint from. So some of the possibilities you could use here, of course, are the auto painting options, which are always fun. And let's go ahead and take a look at that really quick. Um, I'll go ahead and pick a brush that I like using a lot called my Just Juicy brush. And we'll go ahead and enable clone color for that brush. And you'll notice that on the property bar, our clone source is our new Red Trees image that's been, that was based upon our AI style. Now, with that said, I can go ahead and use Smart Stroke and Smart Painting, and we'll go ahead and go back to that brush, the Just Juicy, and then go ahead and apply it. I'll use the Control T or the Command T to uh, disable the tracing paper, and go ahead and start the autoplay here and you can see that the image starts to paint in and it's again based upon our AI style that we saved. So it gives you some really nice possibilities here that you can work into and you know go on to develop some really fun paintings with based upon these underpaintings that you create. Uh, so there's nothing photographic about this, it's just a matter of you going in here now 
and working with some of your favorite brushes to develop the underpaintings. And the other option that you, of course, have here, and I'll go ahead and close this again, and uh, we'll go ahead and keep this at the original uh, AI style that we created, is to go ahead and paint directly on top of the underpainting. And of course, you could do that by either adding a new layer, and in the case of Painter 2021, you can even work with thick paint layers and work with thick paint on those new layers. Uh, we'll go ahead and take off clone color here and just work with our own colors and go in and paint directly on top of this to establish the painting. And so we have that strong underpainting that's created for us that we can go on to start building our paintings from. And this is exactly the way that I worked with this. Um, I think it was a really nice way to get started, uh, even beyond creating a sketch, because it rendered the colors that you were going to be using in the painting, gave you a real strong underpainting to start with. And I'll show you some examples of some finished paintings that I did with this process. This one is called Cottage in the Glen, and you can see that um, I worked with some of my favorite brushes and developed it from an underpainting. So I took the photo, created a good strong underpainting with lots of great shape to work with, and then did my own painting directly on a new layer over the top of the underpainting. The other image, of course, is the red trees, and this is the image that I was showing you in the example of creating the uh, presets. And this way, um, I again just use the underpainting and then develop the painting on a new layer directly above the underpainting. At some point, I basically combined the two images together, drop the layers, and then continue to build upon it using a lot of my own brushes and custom brushes as well as painter brushes. I have some other Some others that I did here too. This is actually my favorite of the of the red trees. I had so much fun doing this. I actually did several versions of it, and this one again I think turned out really well. I liked the, the way the leaves and the shapes came out. And again, it was all based upon the AI style and my uh, underpainting preset that I saved. And now when I actually bring an image in, I can apply that preset to this and really get started. There's very little I have to do in terms of correcting. Remember also, as a final note, that when you do create an underpainting, and let me show you this. As I open this little cottage image, and I want to use my underpainting panel with my new underpainting preset, and I go ahead and select it. Even though it's going to ap apply this AI style to this particular image, I still have the ability beyond my preset, my save preset, to go on here and continue to save it as another preset or to make changes. Uh, color matching, smoothing, applying to clone document or uh, to a current document. So there's lots of flexibility, even with your saved presets. So it doesn't mean that you can't go ahead and explore other presets beyond the one that you saved, because a saved preset is still editable, and you can go on further to, to create some really fun images. So I think you'll enjoy working with the AI styles, and especially if you're a uh, landscape painter, portrait artist, I think you'll find that creating these underpainting presets will set you up to uh, create some beautiful, beautiful work uh, and give you a head start into getting into the actual painting process. So have fun with this. Take care.